Okay, we're going to show how to install brushes in Lightroom. And this is for Lightroom CC, Lightroom 4, 5, and 6, I mean even 3, even though the set I'm using does not work in Lightroom 3. Okay, so we're going to install the Perfect Portrait brushes, and this works for the Color Lux brushes, the Winter Wonderline brushes, the Sugar and Spice brushes, all those brushes it works for. Okay, so I've downloaded it, and that most times when you download off the internet, it is going to go to your downloads folder unless you have specified otherwise. Okay, so I'm in my downloads folder, and here is the set right here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get it out of my downloads folder to somewhere I can find again because I want to back it up. So I'm going to click and drag to my desktop. You don't have to do that. You can definitely just drag it um, if I want to undo that. If I have a flash drive already hooked up, which I don't right now, this is a flash player, um, if you have a thumb drive you want to save your brushes to, or your all your products, go ahead and drag it to that thumb drive. So um, it's just easy as click and drag to whatever that drive is. So I'm going to go back to my desktop. So once it's in my desktop, I have to unzip it. Now if yours was not unzipped, if yours was open, say um, it looked like this that open folder in your downloads folder, that's okay. It means your browser unzipped it during download and that's okay. Just go into the open folder. You do not have to have it zipped up. So um, if it downloads uh, as a zip, that's okay too. We just want to unzip it. And how you do that on a Mac is you just double click, click, click. And on a PC, you right click on it and you go down and choose extract all. Most all PCs have the ability to do the extract all. They have extract all, whatever is in there, it, it can, it's built in with that way. I purchased a Surface Pro with Windows 8 and it was right there for me. If you have a PC that you don't see extract all, you can download a free extraction program called WinRAR, W-I-N-R-A-R. Okay. So to unzip on a Mac, I'm just going to double click and now I have the open folder. All right. And you see Lightroom is open in the background. So I already have Lightroom open. Now I'm going to open this folder, click into this folder. Your folders might be set up to look like, oops, like this. Okay. So that you see the icons instead of the list. So if you see this icon, just double click into it. That open in this first uh, in the folder name is telling you to open this up and because we want to copy the individuals we want to copy all these and there's a variety of different ways that you can um, copy these um, all at once um, one way is we want to go ahead and select them all and but one way you can do that is click and just drag all the way down okay like that or you can um, oops <laughs> didn't mean to do that or you can hit Control A or Command A on a Mac. So Command A on a Mac or Control A on a PC. There they are highlighted again. Or we can come up to Edit and Select All. Once they're selected, we want to copy them. So here we can see Copy 41 Items. I'd already done it. That's why there's some on my clipboard. But um, so we're going to copy them. Another way, once they're highlighted, is you can do Control A, I mean Control C, or Command C. That's for copy, C for copy. So there's different ways that you can highlight them and copy them. It doesn't matter which way you use, use the way you're most comfortable. So we're copying them, and then we're going to go into our Lightroom. So I have my Lightroom open, and on a PC, you're going to go up to the Edit tab and down to Preferences. Now you notice there's no preferences here. I'm on a Mac. So what we're going to do is go Lightroom Preferences. It doesn't matter whether you're on a Mac or a PC, the preferences menu is the same. So on a PC, you go edit, preferences, light on a Mac, Lightroom, preferences. Okay. So once the preferences menu is open, you want to um, look at these tabs up here at the top and you're going to click on presets, the presets tab, and then to show Lightroom presets folder. So now my another finder window pops open and that's okay. And the Lightroom folder will be highlighted. And again, yours might look different. See how they can all look a little different? And it does not matter. It's just a view. The view is different. All right, so you're going to click into that Lightroom presets folder. And then we see all these other folders, right? You're going to click on the local adjustments presets folder. 
files. Well, you're going to double click. You want to go into that folder. And we might, um, you know, if the view is different, let me go back. So if your view is different and you're in the Lightroom one, you click on local adjustment presets. If you're in this view, same thing. It doesn't, it does not matter what your view looks like. A lot of people get caught up on it that their screen is not exactly like my screen in the video. And that's okay. It's just different ways of showing you the same thing. So once you're in that folder, you want to paste those items. So go up to edit and paste. Or you can do um, command V as in Victor or control V as in Victor on a PC. So on a Mac, command V as in Victor um, and on a PC, uh, control V. So I'll do it. Now they're already there and it's going to tell me, oh, we already have one. Do you want to skip, stop, replace? I'm going to stop because I already have them there. So yours will copy in to right there, paste in, sorry, they'll paste in. So I'm going to close everything down here. And then we would restart your Lightroom. So um, on a PC, you'd click the little X in the uh, top right corner. On a Mac, I just go to Lightroom and quit. And then you're going to restart it. So once you've restarted it, now you need to know where to find them. And this is, honestly, people have, they have sometimes have trouble with the installing, but I would say an equal amount of people install perfectly fine and then they can't find the, the brushes so then they think something's wrong. So let me show you how to find them. Your histogram, you're going to be in the develop module. You're looking to look on the right hand side, not the left. On the right hand side under histogram there are a bunch of little icons and you're going to click on the brush. Okay, so it was open. I closed it. There's the brush I, uh, menu. Now if your brush menu looks something like this, okay, looks much smaller than my brush menu did. It's just because it's been collapsed. You can open it, expand it, or open it up by clicking the black triangle in the top corner, okay? And that will open up those options for you. You're going to now look just above your temp slider. See this temp slider right here? There's going to be some word. It might be exposure, it might be tint, it might be contrast. It's going to be whatever you used last. So you just click on whatever word is showing right here, and then your brushes will be down below. And there are some um, instructions on the blog on how to use the brushes. There are lots of um, video trainings, uh, webinar recordings that we've done using the brushes. So please take a minute to look over those and watch those so you know how to use the brushes.